Well, hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing this washi overhaul project that I've been working on for a few weeks now. This all started when I watched one of Plan With Lakin's weekly vlogs. If I can find the vlog, I will put it up in a card for you guys. She was saying to her vlog that this is how she stores all of her washi samples, and it was just really great for travel, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. So. I started this project and I'm almost done with it, but I've had so many questions in my daily vlogs as well as on Instagram and Facebook if I can share how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. So this is this video. So as some of you know that might be might have been following me for quite a while, I did have a washi sample Etsy shop. Wow, that's kind of a mouthful. Anyways, that business has closed uh, over a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Anyway, but I have a lot of washi samples, which are on these little bobbins, which I absolutely love that they're on the bobbins. And for me, I would put them in these big um, organizers. So these are like for organizing like string and other things, like other crafty things. But I use them for my washi bobbins. Anyway, worked out great for a very long time, but this method seems so much better. By the way, this is the end of the washi that I have to do. Like, this is it, guys. Um, and the ones that are out here. So I'm gonna show you these in a moment and kind of share with you my method to what I'm doing. So just to like share this one. So this is like a floral, like a floral card. I'm kind of doing them in themes and you can wrap several washies on one card. You can get like up to five washies on one card just depending on like the height or thickness or whatever you want to call it. Um, so just kind of depends on how you want to do yours if you want to, you know, utilize this process. So let me show you what I've been doing. And this little bin is just some like bathroom bin I got from like Bed Bath & Beyond like several years ago. And it's like absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and I love the way it looks. Just like, ah. <laughs> so I did like all of my like reds are on one card. Clearly if you have more than, you know, this amount of washi and red, you can have like two reds. But it just made sense to me. Like I didn't want to do um, like all my stripes or all my like diagonals or anything on one card when it came to my solids. So here are all of my solids. And then over here is kind of when I get into more of the decorative things. So I'm just gonna pull out a couple just so you can kind of see the method to my mayhem. So like for these ones, like here's all of my like colorful dots or polka dots, if you will. So I just have this all on one. This is a like a gradient one that's kind of pastel-y. Um, like this one here is all like travel themed. So like all my airplanes and let's see, like this one here is kind of like wedding-ish stuff. So this is kind of like a wedding text and then we've got some bow ties and then like long neckties. So, you know, I don't know. Just some fun stuff. And then here we've got kind of like some school stuff or office stuff. So I've got some push pins and, you know, pencils and things like that. So very cute. And here I've got some sports because, you know, sports. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I've got like some food. So I've got like strawberries, some apples. There's more apples in like a little bucket thing and then some carrots. Um, I don't know, this just, it makes sense to me guys. Like, I don't know what would make sense to you and your organization, but um, this all just made sense for me. And like, this one has like all my diagonals in the multicolor. I don't know, like, I feel like this is gonna be so much better. I haven't found an actual like bin or whatever that I wanna store these in. Um, you know, this is just kind of a temporary, a little bit of a temporary solution to my problem. Um, but, you know, there's a whole bunch over here as well. So I did like all of my like Christmas and December holiday stuff um, here. So as you can see, some of them don't have, like they're not all the way filled up. So if I do come encounter with a, another washi that I wanna keep for like a, you know, sample size or whatever, and then I've got some like wintery ones, more winter, more winter. I've got like an Easter one. This is kind of more wintery again, and then I have some floral. 
um, I don't know. I just, I just kind of really like the way that this is. And then I've got some like trees, more trees, some like, you know, weather outdoor stuff. Um, I got a lot, I have a lot of florals, you guys. Like look at all these florals. And to be honest, I don't use florals that often. So yeah, um, I mean, I did convert some of my full rolls of washi into this. So I just put, I've had a lot of questions as to like how much I put on there. So I don't know if you guys can see this well. Hold on, let me, let me zoom me in. So I just put as much washi as I want on it. So as you can see, here we go. So like you can see like these three are a lot thicker and this one is thinner. So the reason being is this one was on a sample and actually these three were on a full roll, but I know in my heart of hearts, in my little planning world, there is absolutely no way I could ever use a full roll of these three. So I'd much rather have them condensed onto this rather than having the full roll because to be honest, I'm not gonna use the whole thing. And um, if I have them on these, I feel like I'm more apt to use them because on these three, I had never actually used either uh, any of these three. So I had to take, you know, the cellophane off or whatever, and then actually put them on here. So, um, I don't know, it just kind of works for my brain. So here, let me show you kind of what I'm working on right now. Let me zoom you back out. Sorry for all the zoomies guys. We got a lot of zoomies. Okay. So let's move this over here. And here's what I'm working on now. So I have like some of my Halloween stuff. Oh, sorry. I have to zoom you back in. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. Okay, all right, so I have like all my Halloween stuff and fall stuff out at the moment. So that's kind of what I'm working on. I got these um, little key cards. I think they're called key ca cards or ID badges or something on Amazon. I did get a set of a hundred and I was thinking like, oh my gosh, it's so many. I'm never gonna use all of them. Legit guys, this is as many as I have left and I'm probably gonna use the majority of them. So I'm kind of glad I got the lot of a hundred of them. You don't have to get a hundred. I will link the one that I got below uh, if you're interested, but you can get like a pack of 50, I think a pack of 25. Like there's a different, there's lots of different options when it comes to these. They are like kind of glossy, which I like. And um, you know, they're about the size, you know, they're like the size of like an ID, ID badge or, like a driver's license or something, but they are nice and thick and I like them. So anyway, um, the way that I kind of do this is like, so say here are all of my like spider webs and then um, I kind of just group like items together. So I'm probably gonna put this one here and then I'll probably have three to be honest. So I've got two different leaf patterns. So those will go together for sure. And then I've got, here's some pumpkins. Well, but these are like both kind of jack-o'-lanterns, so these should go together. And then the bats. So I'll probably put it like this, like that. Does that make sense? Oh, hold on, you can't even see half of it. Come on, Emily, get it together. Does that make sense? That's kind of how I do it. So I'm going to actually fast forward, like showing like how I do at least this one so I can show you what I'm doing because a lot of people have had a lot of questions. So um, I'm going to move these off to the side. I just want to like kind of share with you the method to my mayhem of why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I only have a couple more categories left. So I have all my patriotic stuff. I've got St. Patrick's Day. I've got some summer things and I've got Valentine's things. So, um, Oh, before I do this, sorry, I'm totally all over the place today. I'm gonna show you my bag. <laughs> so here's my bag of things. I just have this like plastic Ikea bag that um, is like one of the little zipper bags. And I'm gonna share what I've been doing with this. Sorry about the audio, you guys. So there have been like this, washi is beautiful and from simply gilded there is no way in the world that i would ever use a full roll of this so i rolled myself a sample and put it on one of the cards that is in my little filing system and so the rest of this is going in here and this little area is all of my extra things, things I know I won't use. I also, with every category, have been kind of like downsizing as well. So just kind of going through everything, like this one looks familiar, right? 
well it's already on here and I have a very thick amount there's no way I need that much so if I have extra samples which a lot of them I do have extra samples of I'll put the extra one in here because this is all gonna go to my local planning group um, just for like a de-stash table and then there's some things like here is like a leaf washi that I know I don't want so I am just gonna put it in there and someone else can grab it or take it so yeah but a lot of the full rolls I already have or I just don't appeal to me anymore and yeah so mm -hmm. it's just it's just a lot you guys it's just a lot and um, you know I I always encourage, you know, if you're not using something to pass it along to someone that might use it. Um, nothing is wrong with any of these things, but again, the ones I know I will use, I rolled out a really thick sample for myself on one of these cards, and I think that is going to be it. It's just going to make my life a little bit less cluttered, which is the goal of everything. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what I was doing with that. So let's move these aside and let me show you how i do this so i just find the end of my washi which is right here which is already peeling up and um some of the washi if you've had it for a while it might not be the best to be like completely honest and then what i do here is i just kind of lay it down as evenly as possible and then i start wrapping it's kind of a tedious process so usually when i do this i will have like netflix on or a podcast in the background or something um but yeah i'm probably gonna get questions on to like where i got all of the washi and to be honest i've gotten it at lots of places i've gotten it off of etsy i've gotten it from other meetups and swaps and giveaways and things like that uh, lots of different companies have washi and i don't know I kind of like what I like and I don't really have, I don't know, I don't really have a washi style. I just feel like after being in the decorative planning world for a while, I kind of know what I like and I know what I really don't like. So, um, you know, I kind of always have to think about it like, like for instance, the one that I'm rolling out right now, I have to use this in this way. Like I have to lay it in my planner this way. Like I can't really lay it that way because there is words on it. So I have to think about that. I tend to gravitate more towards things that I can use any way, whether it be vertical or horizontal, uh, hence all of the like spider webs, I can use any way I'd like. And a lot of my washi is like that. So I really do enjoy that. There are some that clearly you can only use one way, but um, I don't know, I just don't have a ton of that stuff. I have, I have some, I just don't have a ton. And I don't know, that just one of those things that makes me happy. I just like to have, um, you know, flexibility in my planner and to, you know, make, make pretty things. And to look at my weekly spreads or my monthly spreads or budgets or whatever I'm gonna decorate and just, you know, feel good about it at the end of the day. So yeah, this is a really fun one. I think I got this particular washi. I can't remember exactly where I got. I wanna say I got it at Crafts Direct in St. Cloud, Minnesota. I just, I really like this one. I think this is fun. Like I said, I'm not a big word washi person. Actually, I think this might be one of my only word washies that I have. I'm not a word washy kind of person. Um, oh no, I do have like a patriotic one. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Like I said, I haven't done that category yet, but I don't know, I just really like this one. Some, something really appeals to me about it, so. I don't know. I think we all have our own personal options and opinions when it comes to, you know, washing and stickers and I don't know, really, really anything. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of, it's what I like. And then I just move it all around the card and, you know, some, some washies are easier to lay down straight than others, just kind of depends. 
and some of these washies to be honest I've had on these bobbins for a long time and some of them I had a real problem with uh, trying to pull them off and I would have had that problem no matter if I was converting to this system or if I was trying to use it in a planner so some of them unfortunately went into the trash which really sucks but it was time you know the adhesive doesn't last forever as we all know and um, people always ask I cannot talk today. People have also asked about like the stickiness and what I would do about the stickiness of them. The stickiness is really about the brand of the manufacturer, not necessarily how many times you've moved it. I mean, moving it several times is probably not the best thing for it, to be honest. If you have a problem with it sticking again, like on your paper, so this one is all done. Oh, sorry, you guys, for that. What you can do is you can grab, um, this is a little tape runner that I use. This is called Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. It's a little tape runner. You can put it right on the paper and then lay your washi right over it if you're having a problem with, you know, it sticking. This has helped me in the past, um, you know, combat that issue. And sometimes, to be honest, right off of the roll, I've had that issue just depending on some uh, washi tape manufacturers or what's on the washi tape or whatever. So anyway, that's that. That card's all done now. So anyway, that is how I have been using this project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is kind of just a basic video on how I'm storing my washi. I will be doing a washi collection video at some point and probably next month, I think. Some next month. I think I think this is when I have it scheduled. I haven't filmed it yet, but I will be sharing all the washi that's in here because I know I didn't go through everything because it's kind of a lot. And then I'll also be sharing my full rolls and things that I've decided to keep in a full roll as well. So, and by that time, I'll have all my washi wrapped and put in here as well. And I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this physical thing or if I'm going to actually find a different actual storage solution for it. But I really like the way that it looks. I like it when it's sitting like this. I also like when it's sitting up like this as well. So I think that, um, you know, this is a, a nice little alternative to the washi samples, at least for myself. So I hope you guys got some value out of this today and you enjoyed seeing what I'm doing. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. I will link everything that I'm using here down below as well, or at least as many things as I can find. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on the Instagram, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.